Hello England, welcome to Morocco. Why be next time come in to visit the Seine. Have a beautiful country and nice people. Very welcome. See you. <laughs>
he didn't let, he didn't want to let me go empty-handed these Riyads are amazing if you come to Morocco you must stay in a Riyad they look nothing on the outside and they're they just like palatial inside school kicking out there a lot mm. amazing <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Look, oh, the mountains look totally different here, look. Like, almost like plants growing. Riyad Rihanna. Oh, that will be... Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> just missed him. I'm gonna turn around and do it for it. How are you? Hello! Hello! Are you okay? High five! Yeah! Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Let me turn around. One, one moment, one sec. Right there. On here? No, 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 no. Right there, right there. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 Oh god! Oh god! Bye bye! Bye bye! Au revoir! No, 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 no! This, this side! No, 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 no! Look! Ooh. See? See? Au revoir! Au revoir! Bye bye! Bye bye! Ready? Oh, bless him. They were so sweet. Did you see they shook my hand and kissed it? Like, that must just be a thing, but... Uh, unbelievable! It's a good job I got my foot on the brake pedal. The young lad had to go up the throttle and it's in gear. <laughs> if I'd not got my foot on the brake pedal, it would have shot forward. Oh, you, you people have absolutely made my trip. You, you're beautiful. You're all beautiful. I'll never, ever, ever, ever forget this first trip down to Morocco and witnessing this culture and the, the incredible, ever-changing scenery ever. I'll never forget it. 
Absolutely awesome. It's going to fill up. Good afternoon. Fill her up, please. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Super quick fill up, just brilliant. Right, so I've just noticed this next stop that I've got in the sat nav. Because I didn't know how easy or attainable today's route was with the Dardes Gorge and this R704 being really dodgy, I also pinpointed another place to stay a bit further down here. Just in case, you know, time were ticking. But we're great for time, so. The Velcro on these gloves has given up. So yeah, 18 miles is another digs that I'm going to stay at, but I'm going to push on to Mazuga. Five o'clock in Mazuga, it says. We can do that, can't we? How many miles? 150 miles. Yeah, no problem. Another three and a half hours. Crazy to think that we will be at the Sahara Desert soon. Pick up the speed a bit and we'll get there a bit quicker, won't we? I was asking El Habib last night about the Algerian border. What just got me thinking of this is down in Mazuga, where we're going, that's the closest that I'll have been to the Algerian border. It's not that far. But, you know, our government advise against all travel for British people to Algeria because it's dodgy. And I'm asking him about the conflict and he said it's been going on forever, you know, um, Morocco want Western Sahara, Algeria want Western Sahara, and that's what they've been fighting about all these years. He said, well, you know, you can go across, and I said, I explained that our government advised against it. He says, oh, okay. I said, can you go across? He said, I don't want to go across. He says, because they'll probably do something horrible to me. Crazy, isn't it? How you can be neighbors and be that different. Bio, this is it. Hotel Bio Palace. So that was one of them that I was going to stay at. Looks nice actually. But I'll keep on pushing, keep on moving. How can we go from minus eight this morning to 20 degrees? It's just so busy. Four people on that little scooter. The dad, a baby on the front, and two children on the back. Unbelievable. I love it. <laughs> Kids love a high five. Please so lovely. He just saluted me as well. So we're there, I'm gonna to scroll to the left. See the black line? That's the Algerian border. I think we're going to about here somewhere. Oh palm trees. Not seeing them yet. That's a sign that we're getting closer. Right, couple more hours, we'll be in the desert. Cafes and restaurants everywhere. Ooh, sand. We've got sand. We've got proper sand. Look. I feel like I've just um, crossed a border into a different country. changed 
we're approaching the desert folks it's definitely changed this last um, 20 mile bridge over the river. Wow, look at that. Bloody hell. Marzuga. Photo of that. I can see them. I can see the Sahara. Look over there in that corner. I can. I can see it. All the way over there. That's where we're going. Look. Over there. That right there is the start of the Sahara Desert. Well this folks is my southernmost point of Morocco. This is what I've come down for. I do have a route planned, a different route planned for the way back up, but we are essentially as far south in Morocco as we're going. Once we've reached those beauties right there, look at them. question is, do I stay in a hotel on the edge of it or pay to go into one of those luxury camps that's on the inside of it via camel? I don't think you can get the bikes there. You might be able to, though. Huh? Well, that's quite surreal to look over and see the Sahara. Let's have a look what to, uh, how close the Algerian border is now then. This is where we are, where the left arrow is. And that is the Algerian border. Can't quite fathom how tall they are until we get there, but for us to be able to see them like that from here, they are very, very, very tall. Gained 20 minutes with all these lovely long open roads, open empty roads. Look at them peaking in the distance. Ah oh, man. Oh. I don't know where it goes to, but I want a photo. miles away look might do us here
can't believe where I'm standing. <laughs> I can't believe that the Sahara Desert is there! Made a little bit of dust, made a little bit of dust. Slippy sand. <laughs> We're at the Sahara. Unbelievable. In this perfect weather, sun-kissed and blue sky for the for the perfect contrast for photography. The red sand and blue sky exactly what I want to be able to grab oh, thank you thank you thank you I think that's what I've sat and had for the way out. Look at the colour of that. Mm. The true desert. Welcome to the desert. Color of it, folks. I didn't think I'd be able to get this close with the bike. Still might not make it yet. <laughs> that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Just that colour there, I want to get that colour. This is properly deep. <laughs> is that going to stay? Hello, how are you? How are you? From England? Yes, England. From London? Uh, no, no, London. No. Uh, from Holland? No, no, England. Ah, from Holland? Yeah. Sahara. Yeah, thank you. It's a good day. It's nice winter. It's beautiful weather. Yeah. You come today? You come today? Pardon? Today? today yes. I've just arrived, yes. You have booked some hotel or not? Um, I've not actually booked yet, but I know the hotel I'm going to. Ah. Yeah. Can you take some picture and remove your photo? Yeah, you can do. Yeah. Thank you. Which way? Africa with the big tooth. Yeah. Africa. Yeah. 
Thank you, my friend. Yeah. And lots of people with uh, with with your with your with motor. Yep. You can follow four by four, make the tours of the dunes. Okay. If you want, because it's more heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Here, you have to make a little catch. Yes. Little. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you have back, it's more heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you want bottle to bring sand. Oh, nice. Yeah. If you want camel. Uh, oh. There you go. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, if it's decoration, it's with the symbol. If you want two, good price for two. Look. Decoration, look. Ah, uh, uh, no. Hmm. No, I only need one. How much less price for you? 50 tops. Huh? 50. Okay, give me 70. 50. Not for you, not for me, 70 good price. 50. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, 60. 50! Okay, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good man too. Yeah. There you go, my friend. Well, welcome, my friend. Cheers. You can make it with the sun. Yeah. You want different colors? Okay. Let's see. I have more. Nope. Oh, the pink one. Yeah. There you go. Give you back your paper again. Here you are, Georgia. Desert. Sahara sand. I'm putting it in for you. Look at this. There you go, sweetheart. I've just put sand in the bottle myself from the Sahara Desert. Yeah, that's my girl. I've got to try and get this big lump out of here now. Cool, I'll try and turn around then. Yeah, I have to do that Here we go. Hey, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm getting very, very hot. I cannot believe I'm here, folks. I can't believe it. Put your mind to stuff, you can do it, can't you? But I still can't quite grasp the fact that I'm in the Sahara Desert. Got you. Here we go. I'm good, how are you? Uh, good. Do you look for camping? No, I've got a place, a uh, hotel further down here. Yeah, this looks lovely. Shall I book it on here? You want to book this? Yeah. Would it would there be this price? 
Yes, if you want to book this, mm. it's, it's price. Yeah. And then I'll have this later yeah. as well. Yes, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. You need Wi-Fi? Yes, please. Yes, it's Berber Palace. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Booked. Okay. Done. Okay, when you finish, when you finish your shower and everything, I give you tea. Oh, lovely, yes, thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's okay, it's good, it's good. It's Moroccan. It's no, <laughs> your English is good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what, get, get showered and then come out for some tea? Yes, okay. Thank you. Um, I need to unload all the bike as well, so I'll do that first. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oops, locked down. Six. I'm here and I am very happy to be relaxing and taking this lid off. Catch you in a minute. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't expect that. It was a bit big. <laughs> I just had to make it small. Oh, please, sir, please get some more. Just arrived. That's how you're supposed to do it. Nice big pot of tea to arrive to. Here's to being in the Sahara. Thank you very much. No problem, my friend. <laughs> oh. Is the swimming pool warm? No, it's, it's cold. cold yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. You need water? Can we give you the water for drinking? Uh, for drinking, yes, please. Yes, yes, yeah, thank you. you. No I am loving this whiskey berber. It's all about to drink. On this whole trip. Thank you. No problem. Good man. Thanks, sir. <laughs> well, I can't believe we're this close to the Sahara Desert. But it's walking distance. It's there. It's right, right there. When I started planning it three weeks ago, and with no knowledge of Morocco or its points of interest, really. Apart from the Sahara Desert, obviously, and the famous um, Dardes Gorge. I didn't know it was called Dardes Gorge, I just knew the picture of the road, zigzaggy road. So I thought, if I'm going, let's, let's start piecing together a load of, you know, must-dos. So, I, you know, tapped into Google, uh, twisty road in, famous twisty road in Morocco. It came up as Dada's Gorge. Pop that in. Sahara Desert. Um, did a little bit of digging and Herb Chevy or Mazuga is the place to go. Which is right here. So I tapped in Mazuga. And then I thought, in terms of geography, I realised that's as far down as I needed to go to come and see the Sahara. All I wanted to do was get the picture of all pictures for the desert. And get a picture of... Um, Dardes Gorge and I've done both yeah so cheers to that I've got a route planned for the way back but I don't know what I'll do yet and uh, this this is the hotel that I was going to book from the offset this was going to be the first hotel I was going to book as the reaching point but I didn't know uh, what the days were going to be or anything so I've held off booking this one um, until I've just arrived as you saw and then he said, okay, straight away, um, I'll bring you tea when, you, when you've had a shower. And I said, well, it might take me a while because I've got to unload all the bike. Hmm. I've just gone to lube my chain and there's no bloody chain lube left either. I do think I might well be one of the only people here again. And also, the plan was to reach here, take the picture, sleep, and then make my way back. But 
I really do like the sound of going and sleeping in the right in the desert. So tomorrow I might have a day off the bike, recharge my um, physical and mental batteries, and then yeah, go and stay in the stay in the middle of the desert, riding a camel into and out of, or a four by four. I can't remember what it said, or both. Um, but being able to sleep under the stars in the desert, I think I'm going to have to do that. Nice night here tonight to relax and chill. Day off tomorrow, doing that. Amazing. I love that they're all drinking this all the time. There's no, no sign of any alcohol at all. Thank you, El Habib, for teaching me to do that. I'll tell you something. When I rode to the foothills, if you like, of the Sahara there, I very quickly realised how heavy the Africa Twin is. Plus, obviously, all the stuff that's on it as well. I had to quickly turn off the um, traction control and wheelie control. And I was trying to do this all whilst the guy was with me. I must look like a right clown. Because he just wouldn't move. He had to spin and lock down. Spin, lock down, spin, lock down. So I turned it all off. Brrr, and straight out. And I'll never forget when I went to the um, Honda Adventure Centre. The teacher there, the guide, said the best thing to do for sand is constant throttle. If you try and power it out, the Africa Twin will dig a hole quicker than you know. So, yeah, I remembered that. Oh, I'm just so pleased I got that photo. I'm going to edit in a bit, I think. Um, and let's see if I can get the photo finished. Oh, what a day it's been today. What a day. I am so very pleased and so very happy and so very touched with everything Morocco has. Really. Right, I'm going to drink this and then we're going to go and get in the shower. Try and wake up a bit. 260 miles today, I think. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh. 